Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for September 14th, 2019. This reading is for September 14th. This reading is being recorded on August 19th. I don't know why. It's plaguing me. you got to do a reading for September 14th. September 14th. And I know that it is my girl Stephanie's birthday. Happy birthday. And I know that it is my parents' anniversary. September 14th. That's not why I'm doing this. I don't know why. That my parents are not together. My mother has passed away. They were divorced a whole nine yards. But September 14th also happens to be a the full moon the harvest full moon so I don't know what is going to happen on September 14th but something is going to happen on September 14th and it is going to be very prominent because I can't stop thinking about it um, some sort of news is going to arrive that is going to move you in a new direction Let's see what comes up for September 14th, full moon. September 14th, full moon. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I keep seeing the tower. I saw the tower, then I saw the world. That's why I laughed. I didn't want to say the tower because people are like, oh, God. You know, the tower is a, a, is a disruption. It is a disruption. You know, that's what happens with full moons. The full moons shine the light. Okay, something, some light is about to be shed. And then the world card, that's the completion. That's an ending. A major completion. A significant phase in your life. You've graduated. You're moving into a new phase of life. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Love begins. I got the chills, goosebumps, hair is standing right up on my arms. Love begins, September 14th. I'm scared. I am scared. I absolutely am. Um, love begins. It's funny, it's my parents' anniversary. Son of a gun. September 14th, peace. Peace, happiness, joy, an outpouring of love, an outpouring of love. Two people coming together. This is it. Oh, the tower. Of course. I don't care if it's reversed or not. Same meaning. You can't avoid it. You you can't avoid this. Oh, stop. Please. Ugh. This is your root awakening the, that is unavoidable. This is a necessary evil. So there is going to be some sort of disruption. That's the first card I saw was the tower. Oh, my goodness gracious. This crumbling, whatever it is, is going to lead you to something very emotionally fulfilling. What's next? What's next? The sun. This is the sun reversed. Happiness, but sadness as well. So the sun is always a happy card, even in reverse, but there's an element of sadness around this disruption. So there's something that is about to crumble or crash or collapse that may, it may, you know, bring about some sort of sadness, but in the end, and this is light, the sun is light, and this is light being shed. So some sort of light is going to be shed that is definitely going to make somebody uncomfortable. It's going to uh, bring about some sadness. But at the end, it's going to bring some sort of 
peace and happiness and love. Mayoress of Earth. What's this? This is the Queen of Pentacles? Of course it is. I could have told you that one. Um, hmm. Mayoress of Air. Queen of Swords. Ha! Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. We're dealing with the Earth sign, Air sign, Earth Air. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Scorpio here. We have Leo here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio there. This is, oh my goodness, let me get the rest of these cards. This is Judgment Day. Judgment, this is the judgment. This is Judgment Day. Oh God, I think I'm going to be sick. Mayoress of Water. Okay, so we're going to have all the queens here. A lot of people involved. Everybody's going to be affected. The hair is really standing up. Soldier of Earth. This is the uh, Knight of Pentacles. This is a this is a slow and methodical approach. This is planning. You, this is take your time. Four of Earth. Something is about to open up. Four of Earth reversed. Five of Earth. Insecurity. Um, being left behind. Somebody may be being left behind. Suddenly. The challenge is forgiveness, releasing, and acceptance. This is in your challenge position. So somebody is going to get some sort of wake-up call in which they will need to accept some sort of universal change that may not, it may not feel good, but this is a necessary evil. This is going to allow you to start with a clean slate. It's going to allow you to open up. It's going to help you to break free. Okay, it's going to help you to follow your heart in a new direction. Oh my God. Six of Cups. Six of Cups. This is a... This was the Six of Cups. We all know what the Six of Cups is. This is past. This is memories. This is nostalgia. Somebody is going to be experiencing a lot of feelings about the past. They're going. They're on the table. Okay. The feel. There's going to be a lot of feeling here, especially with the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there's going. There could be an opportunity for a reconnection with somebody from your past that left you behind. This could be a past life connection because this is past life. It doesn't have to be. It probably is. It probably is. I think this is a past life. It's somebody that you have been connected to in the past. There is somebody is about to open up. It's like the gates are going to open up and there's there's an opportunity to move in another direction. I feel as though you need to take your time with this. I feel I feel like there is definitely going to be some sort of insecurities that are experienced because somebody was left behind. There's going to be a lot of remembrance. You know, there's going to be a lot of feelings. I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to do the right thing or they're about to, you know, go through with something they have been planning to do. This person has been making a plan to perhaps reconnect. I feel like, I really feel for a lot of you, this is somebody from a past life. This is a past life. This is a reconnection with somebody, well, from your past, from your past. And so there's a lot of people that are watching this that are going to say, I don't want somebody from my past. You And this is new perspective, okay? The Queen of Swords is very optimistic and she sees things... Um, with a new perspective. She's very open-minded. My advice to you is to be open-minded. Okay. This person that is coming in, this person that you are going to connect with is, um, loyal. This person is hardworking. This person could be an earth sign. This person doesn't have to be an earth sign. Whoever this person is, this person has been planning their return. 
they have been uh, they have been waiting for the right moment they are in no hurry to you know sweep you off your feet this, this person is very practical and responsible and wise and looking for something solid so anyway i feel like this the, on this 14th there is some sort somebody is making a decision they have made a decision they are now seeing a situation clearly and they are about to slowly step into focus there's about slow they're they're slowly coming to reconnect i feel like this is definitely somebody from your past and the challenge is forgiveness and and acceptance and releasing and This is absolution. 1010. The judgment is absolution. Somebody is looking forward now. They're ready to let go of the regrets and follow their heart. It's like they have they get this epiphany or they the time is now. The time is now to go after big love. So I feel like they there's some sort of breakdown or disruption that allows this person to wake up you know what I mean this person gets some sort of awakening this is a rude awakening and this is an awakening so somebody experiences some sort of disruption in their life disruption of a false foundation it's like their their false foundation crumbles beforehand and it allows them to open up it allows them to see the light it allows them to see the light <laughs> about i mean love this is the queen of cups i feel like we have somebody here that is has been unhappy with their current circumstances and it's like they want to come back they want you know that's what it looks like to me they want to come back <clears throat> Ooh, the chariot reverse. Somebody's been unable to move forward. They've been stuck. They've experienced a loss of will. Somebody is has lost their will. You know, they've lost their discipline, their ability to focus, their ability to master their emotions. And it feels like this person just keeps thinking about the past and they just want to open up and I feel like they're liberation this is the five this is uh this is library and I thought it said liberation this is the hair font this is the hair font reversed blind faith I think that somebody is going to step forward in blind faith they've been planning it expect the unexpected i feel like we have somebody here that is has been stuck this is very stubborn in the upright somebody has been stubborn trying to prove a point Holding on to something that wasn't solid and stable and secure. And I feel like that's over. I feel like that whole situation comes to a complete halt. And it allows this person to see the light. There could be a reconciliation here. There is a reconciliation here. There's a reconciliation here with somebody that you have been with in a past life. Three of Cups. This is this is an invite. This is Three of Water. This is an invite. This is happiness. This is comfortable. 
having fun. I feel as though somebody is going to be invited. They may be invited to go out for drinks or they may be invited to go out on a date. I feel as though there is a, a relationship, a third party situation that has ended. That commitment has ended and somebody has gotten a new perspective. And they want a, some sort of reunion. There is some sort of reunion here. It's a soulmate reunion. Eight of fire on the bottom. Eight of wands. It's going to happen fast. Somebody, this is, this is some sort of news. There's going to be messages coming back and forth very, very quickly. Somebody sees the light and they are going to communicate how they feel. They're going to, they're, they may be, they may even show up. You may run into them. This could be instant. This could be, um, Very spontaneous. I feel like this is very spontaneous. I feel as though somebody has been um, very devoted in the past, very caring, very nurturing, and I feel like this person is feeling like they can't move on from this person. This person took such good care of them. That's the Queen of Pentacles up there. But I feel like this the, the this person, this other person, doesn't have faith. It doesn't have faith in this reunion. So they will need to be persuaded. They will definitely need to be persuaded. Um, this person is very bitter. This person is bitter over being left behind in the past. So anyway, I feel like there's an there is an opportunity for a reconciliation with. <laughs> Somebody that you have been with in the past. This is a this is a this is a karmic. I mean, this is karma. This is a karmic karmic situation that is about to be brought to light. I think that there's two people coming together that are meant to be. I feel like this is some sort of reconciliation with somebody that you're meant to be with. So I think this is going to happen instantly. I feel like I feel like it's going to be sudden. I think there's going to be sudden news that arrives that is pretty shocking. I think it's shocking news. I feel like that somebody gave up on a commitment and now there's a reconciliation and that's what I got for the 14th. <laughs> Good luck.